What's up everybody, it's JP here, and today I have a tutorial for you. Now, uh, sometimes it can get a little confusing between the difference between bootstrap and save strap and how to switch between the two and what the advantages are of the two. And to give you just a quick rundown, save strap allows you to kind of, um, uh, kind of dual boot your system, but not really. Uh, I know that's confusing, but basically what it means is that um, I can have uh, my stock system um, installed and then if I want to go and install a custom ROM I can tell SafeStrap okay uh, I want to install a custom ROM and it's gonna back up that stock system so that I can just restore it at any time uh, I want to and SafeStrap uh, says uh, that the stock system is the unsafe side and safe and safe strap says that the custom ROM is the safe side. Bootstrap is basically clockwork mod recovery. Um, just, that's basically all it is. You don't really you can make Nandroid backups and stuff in there, but there really isn't a uh, switching between the two uh, functionality. But um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, switch from safe strap to bootstrap. Now I've been using SafeStrap because I've been uh, installing some uh, AOSP ROMs and ROMs that uh, can be flashed in SafeStrap and I really like SafeStrap just because it's so easy to uh, kind of switch between the stock system and um, the, uh, the custom ROM and uh, overall it's just been a really great experience for me. But um, what if, okay so there's two reasons you would want to uh, switch from SafeStrap to Bootstrap. And one of them is you want to install a ROM that is based off of the stock ice cream sandwich software from Motorola. And the other reason is that you just hate SafeStrap, which I hope you don't hate SafeStrap because it's a really nice tool. And I completely get why you would want to go to a blur based ROM because uh, there are some really, really good ones out there that are only flashable in Bootstrap. So all of that aside, let's just jump right into it. So if you already have SafeStrap on your phone and everything, basically what you're gonna have to do is, uh, you know, of course, make your backups if you want. If you don't want to, then uh, that's a risk you're taking. No data should be destroyed in this process, but you know, you can't ever guarantee anything. Um, also, you need to make sure you're in the non-safe environment on SafeStrap. And if you don't know how to do that, that's another video I'm going to be doing, is how to use SafeStrap, how to flash ROMs and SafeStrap, all that good stuff. But you need to be in the unsafe side of SafeStrap. That basically means you need to be on the stock Motorola ice cream sandwich software or whatever stock software you're running. So if you meet all of those requirements, all you're going to need to do is uh, go into the SafeStrap app, which you should have installed, because that's where you... Um, installed SafeStrap and then all you're going to do is just hit the uninstall recovery button and that's basically going to uh, uninstall SafeStrap so we're just gonna hit that and we should yep then it says uh, recovery state not installed and then um, then uh, after that all you have to do is now we can go we should be able to uh, install bootstrap but just to be sure that the recovery is indeed removed we're going to reboot the phone so I'm going to power off here and then we're going to uh, boot boot back up and we should not see that uh, message that says oh you're in the unsafe side or oh you're in the safe side or whatever so let's boot up here and we'll get the uh, boot splash screen and if we don't see a safe strap recovery um, screen we should be able to install bootstrap and nope we didn't see a safe strap recovery uh, screen so we should be able to just install bootstrap right now and that's what we'll be doing after the uh, bionic boots up here and um, the bionic uh, the safe or the excuse me the bootstrap that we're going to be installing is actually a touch version that I got a hold of um, that is a lot easier to use than the regular bootstrap. So I'll be putting a link to that in the description or wherever you happen to be watching this. Uh, you should be able to get access to that. 
because it is does make a it, it's a lot easier to use than regular bootstrap and so I'm going to so now that our safe strap is we've confirmed that it's uninstalled we can go into wherever you have your bootstrap uh, APK uh, install or put on your SD card and I am going to install this one and we're going to install the bionic bootstrapper and we're going to open that up and then it's going to have two options we need to select first we need to select bootstrap touch recovery and then hit allow and then it'll say success and we hit OK and then now to boot into bootstrap uh, you just hit reboot recovery and then it's going to reboot and then you will you will reboot into bootstrap where you can make backups flash roms all that good stuff um, a couple of words of warnings before you go doing anything crazy you cannot use a safe strap backup in bootstrap so don't try it it just causes a lot of errors and sometimes it just you know it's just it's just bad just don't do it it's it's really bad uh, I haven't tried it yet but I've heard some some pretty bad stories about it so there's a uh, bootstrap recovery right there I mean bootstrapped and uh, as you can see at the top it says clockwork mod recovery and this might look different from your uh, usual bootstrap recovery and that's because you can touch <gasps> you can touch things oh my gosh that's amazing huh it is actually quite amazing and it's a lot easier to use in safe strap of course you can use the standard volume keys if your touchscreen doesn't happen to be working or touch doesn't work at all you can use your uh, same keys as before you can also use the back the back key for uh, going back but other than that um, that was it's a pretty simple straightforward process as long as you follow everything uh, pretty much exactly you will be able to successfully switch from safe strap to bootstrap and if you want to switch back from bootstrap to safe strap to install uh, the other ROMs for your safe side or you just prefer safe strap and um, that video is also up and I will have a link to that up in the corner somewhere and also in the description that you can uh, go switch back to safe strap from bootstrap so that you can uh, get back to flashing your your ROMs in safe strap so other than that guys I don't really have anything else for this video so uh, if you need ROM reviews tutorials uh, guides you name it it's probably up on the droid bionic movies youtube channel so go make sure to subscribe there and for all of your latest bionic news tutorials roms everything you can possibly think of that has to do with your droid bionic so that's all i have for today guys i'll see you in the next video